Hopefully everything sounds nice. If not, let us know in the chat. Um, sort of some of the beats so far. It all started with that main lead sound in Serum. I got sort of this creepy vibe from these bells. Gotta have some strings. some random incidentals. Back to the lead hook. That's pretty much it so far. Now just Um, but I'm thinking about adding these horns. Ooh, okay. Try that. Uh, beeping in your apartment? Uh, somebody, there's a truck, yeah. Awesome. Right, everybody. Nice sample. Nice sample. Yep, that's, that's good. You should always be just recording everything. A sample on the fly. Oh. Thing that would be just worth talking about. Do you like use the same colors for every single? Hey, thanks for stopping by, viewer. So, Mike, do you use the same colors like across every track? Like <coughs> the horns are always yellow. The bass yes. is always yellow. Okay. That's something I'll, I'll, I've been starting to do. I'll well. go over my color coding right now. All right. Thank uh, you. red and percussion. I always uh, or percussion and drums is always red for me. Same um, for you. Depending on the sends, like these are specifically for the percussions, so I make them dark red. Ah, okay. And all my my uh, outs, the separating them out from battery, I make them dark red. Subset. Gotcha. Yep. So that's all percussion. My piano is usually bluish type tone. Uh, strings are brown because violins are. Blue, I think that makes sense. Horns are Smart. obviously uh golden because golden. The gold, that makes sense. Uh, my effects, wishy-washy kind of stuff, I usually do bright. Oh, okay. Um, my lead stuff, I started doing green cars. The deeper the green, the deeper the sound. Oh, okay. So my bass is... Be like, you know... All right. That was a, that was a nice little rundown. Yeah, that's my strategy. Hmm organized yeah it's a thing too that as i've gotten like when you have like three or four tracks in it seems like not a big deal to like not name things or not color them and then when you're like 20 tracks deep you're like oh god where did that lead sound go yeah so i think it's it's good to get ahead of it especially if you come back to it a couple yes <laughs> what am i thinking
I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Knowing is half the battle. This sounds to me very much like a like a modern take on like a '90s hip hop style thing. Yeah, I like it. Trap vibes, West Coast. I feel like you've been the you've been that West Coast sound for a long time. I like it. Sample that. I'm gonna sample that. I never. A lot of things. <sighs> East West is great. They had uh, Symphonic Gold on sale for two. Ooh, what it normally retails for? At four hundred. Huh? Crazy. It might still be. Yeah. Uh, I can, uh, you know, let me check on that. That's that's. Get exactly, up for the fans. Exactly why we have two people here. East West Symphonic Orchestra. Yeah, Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra. Gold. Yes. Oh, so you can get the choirs for 300 uh, and unfortunately the East West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra Gold Edition currently 400 on Sweetwater. But stay tuned and you know, that's going to change. They're always having sales. They are. And you know, a best practice if you want to stay up to date on all of the outdated sales, watch our channel. Like and subscribe, follow. And sometimes we'll give you useful information. Like, follow, subscribe, comment, nice comment. Uh, I love <laughs> the podcasts are always like, at the end, like, make sure and uh, leave us a five star review. <laughs> Easy, bro. E Easy. You got to earn that. You can't don't just ask for a five star review. Don't choose. Where? Four notes is always better, right? Yes. Yeah. If you, anytime you think part of the song isn't what's working, I wonder why. The problem is you don't have enough notes. That'll get them. That's how you reel them in. Oh. No. no. Hey, it can't always be a yes. Sometimes it happens. Hi viewer, just wanted to just wanted to check in, see how you're doing. Um, I'm Matt. This is Mike. He's making some sort of West Coast beat with some trap influence. And uh, this is Pro Tools. Let us know if you have any questions. Nope. No. Okay. Now we go. Or storm drum. Yes, that's that's the money maker. I don't even think I've used it. Heck. What? Storm drum, storm drum. East West Quantum Leap Storm. Man, why is Quantum Storm Drum two the exact same cost as three? That seems crazy. Well, two is actually different. 
Oh, it's hoping, different. I was hoping three would have everything two had. Does not. Oh, oh really? really? Glitched out kit in there that I really wanted. A couple of them. Wow, that's very, like, weird. Should, I don't know if they're trying to be deceitful, but that seems kind of sketchy. Uh, dragon hits. Like, I feel like it's assumed that if you get version 3, it has everything version 2 had. That's ridiculous. Wow. Are they well, still 150? Now they're both uh, 300 on Sweetwater. It ever goes 150 again. I think I will, because... Listen to this. I think I'm, I'm very jealous of. Try some of these. That'll work. Yeah. Match them to. I like to. That's a fair point, though. Yeah. Could you just like um. Hit the kick. Sounds very much. Marching band. Wow. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Whoa. Feel it out. Oh, here's a. I know you have questions while you're doing this. Yeah, what's your like go to? I didn't hear any of that because there was oh. some really epic drum. Okay. Um, so the question was, what is your go-to compressor and or limiter? For what? Just if you're just going to throw a compressor on something. You don't have to have one. You don't have to compress. No, but lately hey. I felt like it's something that I have been putting enough emphasis on. Like I'm compressing nothing a lot of the time. Uh, Which I guess instinct is just like good to train yourself how to get the sounds you want without compression, but it can be a very good tool. Um, well, aggressive sound. Stay on these. Rocking a monster recently. Oh, possibly. Nice. Resets to start with. That's smash aggressive. Obviously, that's not the way to go on this. Sure. Touch. Um, if I base, I really like to use. I won't. One point, the CLA uh, series compressors, all three of them were on sale for like a hundred bucks. I don't know what the regular price is. That up. Uh, but the LA three A, famous for. Oh yes, I'm very uh very jealous of you. Case, but, oops. Oof. Yeah, the CLA Classic Compressor is currently $600. Yeah. But they're having a Monster Deals sale right now. Oh yeah, Halloween. I guess we're we're in sales season. It's always sales season. Although, I was going to do... Ah, uh, yeah. Anyways, LA3A for bass. Uh, my go-to limiter. I really just want to... Pump something. L2. Hmm. You can get things very loud without losing very much quality. Or... That's what we're all looking for. <laughs> yeah. Um. But recently, the new play player. I don't know what they call it. called play, which is what runs all these is quest stuff. Oh, yes. Uh, they now made it, so if you go into the mixer, everything has a chain you can trigger. 
right here based on solid state uh, SSL channel. Fantastic. That's awesome. But <laughs> get some nice sounding stuff. They got their spaces reverb in here as well. I haven't played around with this yet. But, you know. Channel. Great. That'd be the cool. Any hoot, where were we? Uh, we were in the banging track, that's where we were. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Where's that hi-hat? I think those off, uh, offbeat hit. Yes, I would kick. Agree. Yeah, we want things to be a little different. Sorry to be distracting, but on the Wave site, there's a product called Mercury that costs seventy six hundred dollars. Yeah, that's. I think I, I it has most like of them. Plugins. Uh, I think Diamond has like all their plugins. That's just crazy. Oh, yeah. Di well, no, because Diamond is way cheaper. Oh. Well, one of them Diamond has all is, the plugins. It must be Mercury, because that's $7,600. Got a lot of plugins. Steps. Friends, welcome to my world. They always pick like the worst picture of me to be of the year. And you say, not like they're actually doing this, but I feel like they're actually doing it. It's just like very weird. It's time for random incidentals. And we're back. Uh, we've been here the whole time, Matthew. I'm putting in some random incidentals as we speak. Okay. I should probably save. I don't think I've done that in a while. What's the... So, in this particular case, you're using... Oh, battery for incidentals. Okay. I've got battery. Hot, running it through uh, Guitar Rig 5. Hey, what? Any hot tips for incidentals? Uh, I'm running battery through Guitar Rig 5. That's my hot mm -hmm. tip. In this case, I'm...
Sparkle. Uh, Probably be under Ambient. Alt. Is, in fact, a preset. Five stars. Um, so now that hasn't seen. Do, do, do. I don't yeah, know if I want to do regular sparkle. That's the big fan of that one. For this case, yes. Hmm. First yeah. time I've used it. Oh, okay. I don't know if I want to do a bridge for the song or not. It might just be verses. I think that's fine. Pretty popular rap thing. Not every song needs a bridge. <clears throat> But you can have the hot spitters on one track. Oi. Oh, look at you actually using your markers. Way yeah. easier. I recommend. I probably should. It's just a habit I'm not in. Oh, yep, not using them at all in this song. Nope. Just pulled up my latest. Uh, so, uh, time for a pro tip. How do you add markers? Oh boy. Oh, you just hit the little space, or the plus button right there. Never mind, I remember. I'm a smart person. Hit the uh, enter on your numpad. Oh, enter on numpad. Now there is a hot take. That's not what I wanted. Like that. And then strings. Strings. Can he play in rhythm? Close enough. Can't hear you over the banging music. That's fine. Hello, listener, viewer. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Matt. He's Mike. This is Pro Tools. Hello, welcome. We are enjoying some uh, fun music times. Yeah. Probably gonna have to quantize that. Okay. Can I over it yes the delay really makes it <laughs> Ooh. Mm, waves has a vocoder on stage yeah but i didn't like the result i was getting with it it could just be that i'm not using it correctly but oh boy i was not happy with it first crash of the day oh wow first crash of the day i don't know uh, why probably because i'm running streaming software Oh uh, yeah. <sighs> All right. Well. Uh, hey viewers. Do you, do you want to uh, do you want to stream over on your side? I could. Yeah. While I restart this, mamma jamma. How does I don't even know how that works. Well, I'm gonna have to stop the stream over here. 
Is obviously. It take, like a while for you to get up and running? Uh, I don't know. Okay, well. I don't know sure. if you have anything you're working on over there, but I'm going to stop this stream so I can reset. All right, I will start mine. All right.